feels a little heavy. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take a minute and get all this stuff unpacked. Then we'll get set up over here and start welding this up some railing. So here you can see we've got out just about everything we need to make our new iron railings. So when you order these balusters from King Metals, they're gonna come to you longer than what you really need for your railing. It's up to you to cut them off to length. So as I get this table set up, I'm gonna get that bandsaw running. We're gonna start cutting these down to length. We'll be cutting the balusters for this railing at 32 and a quarter inches. You can see there's a difference in the length of these, so when you set up to cut them, you want to make sure you get them all lined up going the same direction. Here you can see how I've taken time to set these up on my table and get them all marked out before we start cutting them. So now it's just a matter of cutting these all down to length. So we got all our balusters cut. Next, it's simply a matter of cutting our top and bottom rails. These top and bottom rails are two and a quarter inches wide by three quarters thick. And because we're going to be using two of these quarter inch straps for our termination or mounting brackets, we're going to want to remember to subtract out a full half inch from our overall length. All right, so we'll get these marked up, and then it's back to the bandsaw to get them cut. And because we're working with those logs up there, our top and bottom rail are actually about three quarters of an inch different. This will be the top, this one will be the bottom. brackets for the top and bottom rails. Now's a good time to take your angle grinder and put a nice bevel on these edges. It's just much easier now to bevel these than after they're welded up. By beveling this edge, you've got much more surface area to weld to. Alright, we've got everything cut. It's just a matter of getting it laid out now. Now I want to take a minute to point something out here. These balusters are actually wider one way than the other. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty subtle. So we want to make sure we turn them to the widest point flat. And the way we can tell is when you set them down in my template, they're loose one way and snug the other. Now that you've gotten everything laid out, it's simply a matter of taking your bar clamps, spanning them across and cranking them down. And now's the time to make any small adjustments before we get out that welder and start welding these things up. Now it's just a matter of pulling down this hood and welding these off. Now I appreciate you taking time to watch this video today. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to click like and share it with all your friends. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.